Battle up front with so much power there with Trevor Annas, Mikhaili, and Pio Saliba. Rodwell had an inspired uh, quarter final. He's really risen to the task. There's so much resting on his shoulders. But he's taken a nearly knock here. You're up. Referee just checking, he's okay. There he is finding in. Powell on the near side, the new lad from the Cambridge Rugby Club. Sheffield Bourne. Ferrari Mai, veteran of the beast, more than anyone else playing ever. Wiseman took the lead away. Roll, Simmons! Lola Louis. Seven, get clear. Roll away, seven. That's uh, Nick Royal. He's been penalised. The best side of command, 22. Tomas will have Lola Louis down injured on the far side of the field. Roll one! He's on his haunches, but he's standing up now but maybe a bit of a passenger at this point we'll see in a moment because Pesamino knows he's outside and he's getting the ball brilliant pick up by Lola Louis superb and back to Pesamino now how quick is he this quick this quick absolutely sensational that lightning burst from the player of the season Michele Pesamino look at that step there 139 IRV try in the World Series, a pickup, a superb by Lolo Lewis. And you see the present man, once you give him a gap and some space, put down the glass, she's over. Perfect start for Samoa. Well, a classic example. And there, that tells you it all. 44 tries this season. And we're uh, three quarters of the way through six tournaments including this one, the conversion of formalities made of it by Lola Louis. He moves towards 200 points this season. 76 conversions. So what a start for Samoa. Here's Zuali Mai. He was voted men's tournament last week as well, wasn't he, Nigel? Did you ever beat? Yes, he was. Oh, he's got 11 Here tries it then. Here come, boy. Time. Got six. Maybe more to come. Backwards. Royal in some bother. He's recovered well. Brought to a standstill. Rodwell. Good pirouette. Very effective. Franked by Oali Mai. Whoa. The rest come in to secure him. They've spread now as England come wide with Turner. And here's Brightwell. Powering on. Not the quickest, but he's broken the tackle. England come back straight away. And Simaika Mikhaili will be ruining that mess. Chris Whitewell, right, the rest of these youngsters building through us. Guy, as you will well know, was born in New Zealand and played in the local club, Waneki Premiers. His father was part of as well. And here he is on the big stage. Uncharacteristic few mistakes from Samoa, those uh, miss pulling off tackles with Otto coming across and he just shrugged them off. Rollings with the conversion looks fantastic as always. Well, that left foot just mounted up the point. Chris Amino was the third highest for all the tries in the season with two events still to come. We're running out of superlatives when we come to describe that man there on screen, aren't we? Two, seven, eight points. This season alone, and over 2,300 all time. Taken in by Mikhaili, one of the players who rather fumbled the tackle count. Offside England, penalty quickly taken. Trevor Annas, little consultation here, little signals going on. 
as he could turn around with the Bali Shots. All these players faced and playing in Samoa. No uh, players in from abroad. Lola Louis. He's over the captaincy from Oali Mai. He was destined to go to play in Cornwall with Tawny Tyrant, but he didn't get a visa, so here he is. And they'll be delighted. He's back at the seventh. Trevor Annis playing as well as ever, too. On the switch goes to Kylie. Referee says, will that play on. Again, the pick up off the deck, this time by Fao Saliba. Uali Mai, Trevor Annis. Powering on. Trevor Annis steps through one tackle. Rodwell comes from behind. The ball is loose. Flicked away by Mikhaili under the post. Alaputti, Fao Saliba. Fourth try in Hong Kong, 19 <laughs> overall. Now it's Fati Fao Saliba from the Marist Club, the 24-year-old back row at Madden's debut in Dubai three years ago. And look at the commitment here. Rodwell did so well to get back and bring down Trevor Ennis with just too much quality ball. He certainly knows how to sniff out tries, does the big loose forward. And two points added to return to that seven point lead over England here with just a minute to play of this first half. Tomorrow uh, they have been the form team just a week ago. Beat South Africa, beat New Zealand, beat Australia, then the surprise finalist, the USA, in the sequence that followed on from their win in Las Vegas when they beat New Zealand emphatically in the final. Just a little shabby by their end standards earlier in this tournament, but they have an ability to rise to the big occasion as we've seen. But England still well in touch. To Turner. Royal outside Turner used him as a decoy. Oh, almost an interception. And that's deemed a deliberate knock-on by Oali Mai. Ben Ryan probably is saying, well, is that worthy of a card? I think he'll get a warning. The Ryan right look on Ryan's face. Well, Ben Gollings was sniffing on the inside. He was speeding up there looking to try number 199 in his career. I'll tell you what, it was one way of stopping England scoring there. Probably the only way. And he might be a bit lucky, I think, with that decision. Ben Gollings into Brightwell. Please, please. Referee. Let him go first. Must let the guy go after you've tackled him. England get the penalty, taken by young Oliver Lindsay Hay to Rodwell. Strong. Very good at this palming off the play. Rolls off tackles sometimes as he did then. We're at the seven minute mark and England have another penalty. And again, Samoa don't roll away. Quickly taken, Oliver Lindsay Hay. Looking which way to go. Goes himself, scores! The 19 year old, very alert, very aware. Good time for England to score on the stroke of half time. He really liked the cut of his jib. He's impressed me throughout the three days. Oliver Lindsay Hay takes the ball one way, then the other, then in between two players, Uwali Mai and Fao Saliva, and dots the ball down and allows Ben Golling the chance to close the gap and draw it before half time. Well, he's certainly uh, taken over the role of the former captain, Kevin Barrett, who uh, cruelly was injured early in the season. And this guy is filling the gap very well. Golling this time just shy of the left hand upright and so it's a two point lead still for Samoa at the break another classic encounter in a long history between these two who have played 37 times before and been well matched one to another in the most recent game Stephen Beaton Wonderfully successful to see things had. Five tough titles you can see out of their 16 finals. Going back to their first win a couple of years back in Wellington. Uh, the huddle of England last the calming words from Ben Ryan. Well, they've had a wonderful run here in the IRB 7s in Hong Kong. 
with titles. Their first ever title was here in 2002. Then won three in a row, 03, 04. And most recently in 06, when the likes of Ben Foden and Streckel, Van Dell, Henry Paul were there. Gollings, of course, too, under the captaincy of Simon Amor and the coaching of Mike Friday. It really was a star studded side. Just look at the current England uh, 15 squad. Excited crowd here. The music booms round, waiting for the last few seconds of the two minute half time to count down for the restart. All on a knife edge. Samoa 14, England 12. Seven minutes to play for a place in the final. Just touch forward, says the referee. The winners will play New Zealand or Fiji, whoever wins the next game. Those old warriors who contested every IRB 7s final in the very first series, 1999-2000. Two points behind New Zealand in the overall table. Clamoring for it, eventually comes to Gollings. There's the acceleration that he still has. He challenges Pesamino. Lovely, lovely little weighty kick for Turner. Turner gets it and scores. England takes the lead. Brilliantly done. And there, another class touch of the Maestro 7, Ben Gollings. And well taken by this young man from Bristol. South Africa born and he's certainly had to go to the races, but golly, he set it up. Look at this. Him on the outside of Pesamino. Getting close to the touchline, here's the reason why he used that educated left boot. And he couldn't have weighted it any better. It just sat up. up. Matt Turner did the rest. Brilliant start for England. Guy who was educated in South Africa at the Dartmouth College better known as Bishop, then went to University College Cape Town, then in England, his schooling at one point with Millfield, and with Gollings, 17-14 to England, becomes 19-14. Well, we talk about the specialist sport of seven, and the light, well, of this man, who could well become one, the Matt Turner here, but most principally of the likes of Ben Gollings, Tomasi Farmer of New Zealand and so on. These are the specialists in this very uh, specialist sport, from which really no longer you can swap and interchange between the teams and the shorter version. England come again with that fine win back of the restart. Turner, who's right well, wide is run well. Jumps pretty firmly there by Samoa, who's claiming the penalty and get it quickly. Uali Mai wants it in action. Five points to drift. Never counts Samoa out. Here's Pesamino. Backs himself on the chase against Royal. It's a beautifully weighted kick. The bounce this time. The try must be given or not. It's going to be a question mark. Did he roll over before he grounded it? He says, surely I did. Big decision. Try given. That again was brilliant vision and a wonderful little touch of the ball with the boot. When he looked up, he knew that there was no sweeper in behind. They just transferred the ball to him. He looked up, he thought, well, I'll back my pace here. Nick Boyle gave great chase. Well, have a look at Nick Boyle. He actually tackles him before he got the ball. Right there. It could well have been a penalty try anyway to be accurate. This for the lead. 19 apiece. Lola Louis. Well, a hundred and uh, eighty, ninety-one points this season, not his best kick, but perfectly good enough to take the lead for Samoa with the final quarter to be played out. Twenty-one to nineteen, and this man just goes on and on, crossing that line. Well, not the point. Samoa, remember, looking for three titles in a row. This is Far Tuo one of the big uh, finds of this season. Really stepped up in uh, performance quite remarkably, like Faro's Believer. Now it's with uh, Samoa again.
Oh, got Pepinino outside. Pepinino comes inside, offloads to Michaeli. What a clever backhand pass that is to Lola Louis. Another score would settle it one sense is surely. He's still going. Must score here. Brilliant dummy running. And Lola Louis knows that that might be the decisive moment. Well, he reached his 50th try earlier. And this is cleverly done. He had the man to use as the decoy. The tackle came in, wasn't held, and drove through. So cup finalist in Dubai, missed out in George with a shock defeat in the quarter final against Argentina, then the cup final in Wellington, then the win of the cup final in Vegas, then the win of the cup final in Adelaide. And the conversion is perfect. 28-19. And that surely settles the issue because England are nine points adrift. They did it look on top form at the beginning of this tournament but they've certainly saved their best till late. Two scores ahead. A knock on first by Samoa here. Uh, one full minute remains. Theoretically possible, but England have to score instantly here. Lindsay Hay, this uh, youngster, came out of England under 16, still just 19. Member of the Harlequin Club in London. And now Turner to Gollings. Samoa just trying to keep it at bay for a while. Gollings, clever. Still Gollings. That's not back. Fire Saliva knows that this will waste time. By putting it out on the full, that doesn't matter to him. It's only 25 seconds. It's an impossible task now. Because England need two scores. It's been a wonderful tie. So Tightly contested. There's Ben Gollings now of the Gold Coast Breakers. A long time ago, he started out with the Bournemouth club. But what a seventh exponent. Might have got away with a little tap forward pass there. Royal chases to bounce his tool to England. Pesamino hurls it away. Rodwell's there to catch it. Will he get in at the corner? Looks like he will. But it's all going to be too late. The seven minutes are up. And England fought magnificently this rear guard action. Sorry, There's a man who's come through to be surely one of the uh, players of this tournament. <laughs> Pesamino hoiked it what he thought was into touch, but the try is given. And it is the as the final whistle sound. That will go through to the final. Some heartbreak for England. They came so close, they battled so well. But what a superb learning curve. Church. 